Welcome, let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday the 27th of March as we look to a week where we see the beginnings of the second quarter of 2023. Can you believe it? But I'm picking Ocado as a stock to watch next week as we see continued weakness in what's been happening at Ocado. It's got this 50-50 joint venture it's had now for a while uh, with Marks and Spencers and Ocado is known for pricing its goods at levels that are above that of the uh, main supermarkets like Tesco's and Sainsbury's. So it's lost its advantage there. Uh, it does, in its own words, uh, retail quality goods, but that's a matter of individual taste. But I think one of the things I really wanted to highlight was the fact that three weeks ago, Cardo says it's pausing the rollout of a new distribution centre in the UK after making a record annual loss of more than £500 million. Pounds. You'll remember that at the back end of last year, customers reining in spending on more expensive goods. I want to take a look at the share price chart because I think potentially there could well be a short trade in the offing here. This is Ocado. Um, as of uh, Friday's session, we're opening at 440 pence. We've just seen the stock open uh, on the session in today's trade. Now, I'm uh, short on this going into the numbers next week because I think potentially we could well get a, a little bit of a, a worry about the outlook from where we go. Now, I've drawn this red dotted line down here at 380 pence. That was the low we had back there on the 13th of October. Let me just quickly put all this into some sort of context. If it does break that line at 380, it'll be taken then down to levels not seen since December 2017. But more importantly, you remember this blue box we had here on the left-hand side of the screen, 192% uplift when we all went into lockdown and people went into buying goods online. And then came this drift lower. It was a big drift as well. 86% of the total value of Ocado was lost uh, between the highs back in September 2020 and the lows on October the uh, 11th, 2022. Since then, we've seen 146% increase, but all that's now pretty much been lost as we see the stock drift lower, including that uh, worrisome 500 uh, million pound annual loss recorded last year. So if you are short on this, going down to 380 pence, we're opening at 440, your stock loss would go above this line up here at around about uh, 460 pence the share, looking potentially uh, for possible weakness coming through from Ocado's first quarter numbers out on Tuesday.